Hey guys, and welcome at the series about Sidecore Basics. In this video, we're going to create a goal. Before we are diving into the configuration of a goal, you need to understand some of the basics with goals and engagement value within Sidecore. So a goal is something that can be used to measure certain actions that you want a visitor to execute. For example, watching a video, um, having a sales chat or request a demo. Um, and what you need to do is create an engagement value pyramid that is like the one that is shown here. And within the engagement value pyramid, you are um, creating a skill. Um, and once users start triggering goals, the engagement value points will add up. Um, and it can be used to understand how engaged someone is with your brand. Um, but it can also be used um, to interact with your sales team and to um, create agreements on the amount of engagement value points that must be collected to qualify someone as a sales qualified lead, for example. It's not, according to Sidecore, it's not a real lead scoring mechanism, but it um, is something similar. Now, the important part here is to think of an engagement skill. Um, so, you can understand that watching a video is uh, less um, attractive for your brand than requesting a demo. Um, so as you can see here, the more someone is likely to share information with you, um, the more they are engaged with their brand. So the more engagement value points they are collecting. And this is the way you can implement an engagement value skill and it will help you understand the engagement of your uh, visitors and you can use it for personalization for example so say that someone has up to 50 or above engagement value points you can do something on the home page or um, within marketing automation sending an email if you have their email address stuff like that so this is the basics and the theory about engagement value points and goals now let's switch back to Sidecore. To create a goal, you can go to the marketing control panel and in here you will have the goals section. Now there are some default goals already, but you can right click on goals, choose insert goal and then give it a name. So for example, watch the video as the first one, choose OK. And then there is a number of metadata that you can uh, add to this goal and it can be used uh, in the analytics. So for example, you can use a facet here to um, uh, tell Sidecore what type of goal this is. So it can be um, a department or a product or uh, whatever you need. It's just for categorizing within the analytics and make analyzing a lot easier. Now, when you scroll down a bit, you will have the data section and in here you will have the points. These are the engagement value points. So in here you can say five, and you'll save. Now there's one last thing you need to do um, and that is you need to publish, uh, I'm always uh, uh, wrong, you need to publish or deploy a goal. So the first time that you create a goal, it needs to be deployed. Um, so Sidecore understands that it's available um, and it will be tracked in the analytics. So to do that, go to the review tab and then click the deploy button and click OK. And once it is deployed, uh, you are able to use it on a page or somewhere else. Uh, and the analytics will be tracked. That's it. These are the basics about goals and engagement value points um, and how to use it within your organization.